so before we see the further tags let's just delete this off because link and button do not post the form request so we will have command button or command link so let's have a command button and the value attribute is what is shown on the button like submit value okay and action points to method name or maybe just the name of the page animal bean dot save animal and remove this bracket let's save this so next we are going to consider the selection tag so the first selection tag is select boolean checkbox so let's now see the first tag which is boolean checkbox select boolean checkbox so this tag is used for representing either a true or false value a singular checkbox will be displayed when you check it it's true when you uncheck it it's false so let's value bind it to some attribute in a bean so let's first of all create that attribute in the bean so let's now create a boolean attribute private boolean mail me okay and let's create getters and setters and over here let's value bind this to the boolean attribute animal bean dot mail me okay and let's add some text over here see you mails okay and let's save this let's now display the attribute over here okay the attribute name is mail me okay and let's change this to you selected let's save this and let's run the application and here's the output page so let's check this and submit value and here in the glass face server log you can see you selected true so let's unselect this and again submit the value you selected false so this statement is getting printed a better idea would be we show the output using the output text so over here we can say animal beans dot mail me so whether it's true or false will be displayed directly over here so remove this off and let's run this application once again so here's the output if I check this and submit value you get true over here if you uncheck this submit value you get false over here so the next component is select many checkbox so this component over here select boolean checkbox only displayed a single checkbox this displays many checkboxes so there will be five checkboxes over here and the label for the checkboxes will be the labels in the item label over here and the values will be this so let's value bind it so basically a user can select one or many checkboxes and that values we have to collect via the value attribute so first of all let's create a variable over here int array selected people okay we selected an int array over here because the values we are expecting are integers let's create getters and setters for this insert code and getters and setters select generate okay so let's now hook this field we have just created annual bean dot selected people okay so whatever checkboxes the user selects the values which are selected will go in this and we have used the int array because the values we are expecting are ints and let's this method is going to run when the command button is pressed so you selected let's display those values so each int or whatever value each item has will be displayed over here so let's save and run this application let's select few items Sam Joe submit and if you see that's what you get over here you selected 3 and 5 that's the value for this and this 
Now let's consider the next one which is select one radio. So select many checkboxes allowed us to select many checkboxes but radio button out of a group you can only select one. So let's do that. So instead of select many checkboxes we'll have select one radio. Okay and over here also select one radio. Okay and since we, are, we can only select one option out of this, you can't select more than one option. So this time for collecting these values, we will have a selected person instead of selected people. And let's change this to person and let's recreate this again. Insert code, getters and setters, select this generate and over here we are not displaying a list so let's comment this out and you selected selected person okay so all changes have been done so let's run this application so let's now select one value John and submit it and here's the output you selected two this was printed because of this okay now you can only select one values you cannot select more than one values because this is a group of radio buttons so next item is select one list box so just like select one radio you can only select one item in this list so let's change this to select one list box and over here also select one list box okay and remaining everything will work because we have assigned for value binding we have assigned selected person which is a singular attribute and select one can only select one attribute so it's singular over here also let's run this application and here's your list so you can select only single item and let's submit the value and if you see over here you selected four now select many list box is similar to select one list box only thing is you can select many values so over here let's change this to select many list box okay and over here also select many list box and this time it will be people because you can select more than one values so over here instead of select person selected people and this time it will be an int array and remove this off and let's insert new getters and setters selected people and over here instead of a singular person now we are going to display a list because you can select more than one person let's uncheck this so let's save the application and run it and here's the output so now I can press control and click more than one name and then select submit values and here are the selected values next item is select one menu so it allows us to select only one item and let's see an example for this so select one menu and over here select one one menu okay and again you have to change this back because it's select one you can only select a single person and over here let's comment this out and plus selected person and let's change this to a person okay this time it will be an int so let's remove this off let's regenerate them okay so this time we are selecting a single person and we are then displaying the person so everything seems proper let's save and run the application So here's the select one menu. You can only select single item because it's select one. So I select one item and submit value and you selected four.
Now for this last item, select many menu. In Firefox, you can't select more than one item. And it's not compatible across browsers. So let's not talk about this and we won't be using this at all. So until now, for all the selection tags, we mentioned the list items using select item tag. So instead of this, what if the values are coming from database? Or what if you want the values to come from your code? So for that, we can use select item tags instead of f select item. So this time we'll use select items. So instead of me writing everything down, let me just paste this off. So what I've done is, first of all, I created a class named person. So it's normal class, it's not even a beam. Okay, it has two fields, ID and name, and a constructor accepting those fields and getters and setters. In the animal bin class, we have a method named get people list, which returns a list of these people. So we call the constructor, create the objects, put it in the list, and this list is returned. So over here, if you see the f select items tag, the value is bound to the people list over here. We do not need a setter because we are never going to set values from the page. We are just going to get the values. That's why we don't require a setter. So the getter gets all the values or all the people. And to iterate through this list, we use a variable named p. Now each p stands for a single person. So p.name is used for label and p.id is used for value. So each select item will be created with p.name and p.value as item name and item label. So you can imagine that instead of creating the person ourselves, we can take this data from the database and return this list which will be bound over here and which will iterate and create new new select items. So let's run this example. And as you see over here, these items are from the people or the person class. Submit value and here is a selected value. 